Today we're learning about fractions that have a denominator of 1. Here we have three different models, and we're going to learn how to label them. Now I first notice that each of these models is showing two whole circles, but the circles in each group are split up in different ways. In this first group, we see there's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shaded pieces, so the numerator of the fraction will be 8. Then we see each piece, it's one-fourth of a circle, so the denominator here is 4. We would label this model as 8 fourths. In the next model, we'd count that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 shaded pieces, so the numerator of the model is 4. But if we look at each piece, we see that now it's one half of a circle, so we have four halves. Finally, we come to this last model, and this is the one that's new for this video, because these circles, they haven't been split up into pieces. These are just two whole circles. But let's approach this in the exact same way. Let's treat each circle like a big piece, and count up that we have one, two shaded pieces. So our numerator is two. Then if we look at each piece, it's just one whole circle. So as a fraction, we'll write that by making the denominator a 1. 2 over 1, or 2 wholes, is how we can label this model using a fraction. What you need to remember is that when we have whole numbers, or whole shapes, we write them using a denominator of 1. Let's practice doing this together. Let's label all of these groups, starting off with this first group. What can I write? Well, there's a total of six shaded pieces in the square, so the numerator of the fraction is a six. And the square, it's split up into a total of six pieces, so the denominator is six as well. This is the fraction six sixths, and that makes sense because we know six sixths. It's the same thing as one whole, which is what we have here, one whole square. Now, let's label this next group. What fraction can I use for this group? We can count that again we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces, so our numerator is 6, but now each of these pieces is one third of a square. So here we have the fraction 6 thirds. Now finally we have this last group where the squares are not split into pieces at all. Well what should the numerator of our fraction be? Well we'll think of each square like a piece, and we could count up that we have 1, two, three shaded pieces, so our numerator is a three. But what should our denominator be? Well, each piece is a whole square, and when we talk about whole fractions, we use a denominator of one. This is three over one, or three wholes. Let's practice with another problem. Let's label these models. Starting with this first model, I see I have three rectangles, or three pieces, so my numerator will be a three. But what should my denominator be? Well, each piece, it's a whole rectangle. It hasn't been split up at all, so we use a denominator of 1. It's 3 over 1, or 3 wholes. Now, how can I label this model? Well, there's six shaded pieces here, so the numerator is 6. And if you look at each piece, you see it's one-third of a rectangle. So this is 6 thirds. Finally, let's look at this last model. How many shaded pieces are there? Well, all we have is this one shaded rectangle, or one shaded piece, so our numerator is a 1. And because it's a whole rectangle, our denominator is 1 as well. This is 1 over 1, or 1 whole. Now it's time for you to do some practice on your own. Label these models. Well, the first model has four shaded pieces, and each piece is a fourth. This is four fourths. The next model also has a total of four shaded pieces, but each of those pieces is a half, so this is four halves. The final model, it also has four shaded pieces, but each of these pieces are an entire square, or a whole square, and so the denominator is one. This is four wholes. Now here's your last problem for this video. Label these models. Well, this model, it's just one shaded piece, and the circle's only made of one shaded piece, so this is the fraction 1 over 1. The second model has three shaded pieces, so the numerator is 3. However, each piece is a full or a whole circle, so our denominator is 1. This is three wholes. Finally, this last model, it's four shaded pieces, 
and each piece is a whole circle, so this is 4 over 1. Great work! Now you know how to describe fractions that have a denominator of 1. That's all for now, but stay tuned for next time.